Molly Tibbetts was a 20-year-old woman who was recently murdered in Iowa. Her name is everywhere right now because Donald Trump claims her murderer, Christian Rivera, is an undocumented immigrant, stating that the murderer never would have happened if immigration policies were tougher. Of course, many anti-immigration fanatics like Candace Owens have seized upon this opportunity to go on a full-on public relations blitz, uh, including a blitz against Tibbetts' own family members who are begging people to stop using their loved one's death as a reason to dehumanize immigrants. Meanwhile, Rivera's own attorney claims that Rivera is actually in the country legally, which immediately makes all of these points moot. I don't know if the attorney is correct. Uh, Rivera may or may not be undocumented. I don't know. What I'm here to say right now is this. It doesn't fucking matter. We may not currently know whether Rivera is undocumented, but we do know that he's a man. And we know that every day in the United States, men stalk, abuse, and murder women for not talking to them, not dating them, not having sex with them, not marrying them, not going to prom with them, or not doing whatever it is that the man wants. Almost every woman in the United States has a story about this. Seriously, it happens so commonly that if you're a man, you don't know. Uh, Some women will just brush it off as something that just happens, like it's not a big deal. I know because I used to do that. I joke about the men who stalked me, about the men who called me a cunt for not talking to them on the street, about the friend who called me a whore for not wanting to sleep with him, uh, about the taxi driver who turned off the car on a dark street at one in the morning and then tried to pull me through the window to kiss me when I tried to pay him. I joke about it, even though after that, I stopped taking taxis alone unless I absolutely had to. And why did I behave like that? Because it's not cool to feel vulnerable and to feel victimized. It's cool to feel like you're above it all and that it's no big deal. But fuck that. It's a big deal. I don't know if any of those men were undocumented immigrants. And it doesn't matter. They were all men. And the problem we have in the U.S. is not illegal immigrants wantonly murdering people. The problem is men. Men who feel entitlement over women, over our bodies and our lives. It's men who feel like the only way they can be a man is if they can dominate a woman, if they can have sex with us whenever they want, if they can keep us in line when we disrespect them uh, by not giving them our time. The problem is men, male entitlement. Kristen Rivera is a man who saw Molly Tibbetts out on a run one night and decided that she owed him her time. When she said she wanted him to leave her alone, and when he didn't and she said she was going to call the cops, he murdered her, put her body in the trunk of his car, and then hid it under corn stalks in a field. This is according to Rivera. This is his version of events. And yes, I am here now politicizing her death. For one, I'm doing it because that's the actual situation. It's not about immigration. It's about male on female violence. And for another, I'm doing it because I suspect that that's what Molly would have wanted. Take a look at her Twitter timeline. Molly was a feminist. Even if she wasn't a feminist, her death would still be about male on female violence. And we should still use it as an opportunity to talk about that. But the basic fact is that she was a feminist. She would do the same thing. She retweeted a post about how men aren't entitled to assault women based on what they're, what the woman is wearing. She retweeted a thread about the importance of access to safe abortions. She tweeted about body positivity. She tweeted a lot of support of, of Planned Parenthood. I spent way too long going through her tweets. And then again, probably I didn't spend enough time. Uh, I had to stop because she was such an awesome person. And I kept thinking about how we could have been friends uh, and about how she had so much more to give the world. She cared about mental health, about science, reading, about fighting Donald Trump. And she was taken from this world way too soon because of male sexual violence. So no, I don't care whether her killer was in the country legally or not. I care that we start holding men accountable for their emotions and that we as a society agree that No one is entitled to another person's time or intimacy. 
It's too late for Molly Tibbetts, but it's not too late for the tens of thousands of women who are predicted to be victims of sexual violence next year. For the 83% of girls aged 12 to 16 who will experience sexual harassment in school next year. For the 35% of all murdered women who will be killed by an intimate partner next year. For the 150 million girls under the age of 18 who will suffer some form of sexual violence next year. All of that, not at the hands of undocumented immigrants, but at the hands of men.